Hi, Marilyn O'Malley here, and I wanted to share with you um, about the, the energies and want us to say if you are feeling like you're on a emotional roller coaster this last week with deep, deep lows and then, you know, deep highs, not saying that anything is uh, positive or negative about the emotions, just saying that the emotions are all over the place and seem to be at, at extremes and come out of nowhere and um, that uh, also a, a lot of irritation and um, I, it, so I just wanted to say if you're feeling feeling this like in all sorts of emotions and stuff that hasn't come up for a long time or also there's the emotions about really wanting to find your tribe wanting to to come home to feel at home to feel safe to uh, feel the uh, connection to others that you might not have been feeling for the last couple of years um, to find like-minded souls and um and, and, and feeling a longing for this and also uh, maybe a, a, a grieving about not having it yet or um, having lost it during this um, the last two years and having to now uh, rediscover it or recreate um, your tribe, your people um, coming together um, what that means, I'm sure it's a different, has a different meaning for almost all of you that, and it's deciding kind of, we're, we're releasing these feelings uh, uh, that are old traumas or old ancestral stuff, who who knows, you know, right? A lot of it's unknown. So it, uh, astrological, is it the sun, uh, sun rays, um, CT, uh, CMEs, is it uh, cosmic energy, is it the electromagnetic um, field around the earth is thin, uh, volcanoes, you know, these uh, weird storms, is it the collective conscious, <laughs> you know, it's like crazy making. And what I, the, the main point that I'm wanting to make is that, or there's a couple points in here, one is this time is it's really important these things are coming up and that you give them respect. You give them time, you give them acknowledgement and not that you go into any of the drama about it. There's no reliving. It's just like, oh, I'm feeling this now and you might uh, name it. Um, you, well, I recommend you get a uh, printout of list of both positive, well, I'm saying positive and negative, but I, I think emotions are just... It's, it's energy in motion, and it's intelligence. It's information. It's telling you something. It's um, giving you information about uh, either how you're interpreting something or feeling about something or how that energy got stored in you, what you were experiencing then. So if you can name it um, and see it and spend time with it, just being like by recognizing it, like, oh, I'm in resistance. Oh, I'm angry. Uh, I'm grieving, you know, to just be with it. That's a way of self-love. That's really good taking time. And if you can't just breathe with it and just let it, you know, see where it is in your body, see, see what, where, where it goes, what, what, what evolves from that, because it might disappear and then turn into something else that then there's something else that comes up underneath that. But self-care right now is really important. I just got out of a nice Epsom salt bath with um, rose oil and uh, geranium oil and lavender oil and some Ep and Epsom salts. And also when this is going on, we can easily get irritated because it's like a lot's going on and that, that internal. And the internal is calling us to be with it. So when we get have to do things external, um, it's irritating. Or, um, or it, you know, it's just like, there's, there's a part of us that is like wanting, wanting our time 
to be with what is. That's what I, you know, it's just like, you know, to process it, to, um, to um, take care of ourselves. And also another thing is that um, spending time in nature is becoming almost essential for us. So I'm talking to the star seeds and the um, sensitives um, that right now, what you're doing is you're building your muscle because there more is coming. And so the more that you know that you, it's essential that you take care of yourself, deeply take care of yourself and honor yourself and move the, let the energies move, um, you know, um, being present, not making up stories and judgments about what's going on in life, um, spending time in nature, doing things that uh, you really are passionate about, appreciate, um, those things will pay off big time. Spend time, find your tribe, you know, whatever, whatever little tribe you have now, even if it's one person, call that person, spend time with them. Um, see if you can, um, or if you don't have anybody, find somebody, find a group, come join my, my um, Patreon group um, or somebody else's. Find a group of people that you can be with to help support you, to help um, figure out what's going on because we don't know. It's all unknown. It's the, we are playing in the unknown. We are playing, but that unknown is incredible, intelligent energy that is, that we create in. And so if we can realize and become more com comfortable with the unknown and be, being uncertain not having to have certainty about things because that's what it's, it's kind of like breaking apart all of our, you know, it's like a God smack that's kind of coming in and, and um, shaking up things so that you realize like, we don't know what's true. We don't know what's false. We don't know, you know, it's all being made up. It's one big experiment. And how have we been conditioned to play in this emotionally and how is that, what can we let go of that isn't serving us and that we can play a bigger game, have more fun and um, reap more benefits and share with others um, if we play a different way, if we're in this experiment a different way, if we create from our hearts and not out of fear and not from our minds. You know, how can we uh, become more present to living in this now and making decisions from this present moment, not out of fear, not out of old stories, not out of judgments, but just like what's here and what do I want? Because when we're playing in all that old stuff, the stuff that's coming up, the stuff that's keeping us small, the stuff that's keeping us limited and um, in, in old habits that aren't allowing us to really know truly who we are. Um, it's not fun. It's not fun. And I think in the, 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 you know, different steps of awakening that the, you know, knowing, awakening, that kind of knowing things that a lot of things are breaking down to have breakthroughs. Uh, I think it's some of the hardest work is going from that, from that, like, holy shit, um, protecting ourselves, wanting to protect our families, our friends, you know, share all this stuff to really to the next step of feeling playful and joyful and being, um, in the experiment of being in our body as a multidimensional being and creating from that space takes a lot of work and a lot of practice. But again, we're in an experiment. We're in the unknown. We're in the uncertainty. Those are, those are the only thing we know for sure is that things change. So what if we took, um, you know, honored who we are and start to 
release those things that we aren't. And connect with each other and talk about it. <laughs> it really does help. I so many times I had, I had you know, SOS phone calls to my girlfriends, to you know, just touch in to to my tribe, to my my tribe. I had to get in touch with my tribe because I was feeling a lot of lo uh, loneliness, and I'm not. I I don't. I missing. I was missing my. I like deep connections. So I was missing my deep connections, my, you know, talking like this with a friend or with you guys, um, you know, wanting to, um, and wanting to laugh and be joyful and play. And um, instead of worrying about what might be and worrying about, um, you know, the things that could happen or what I'm hearing or, you know, it's just like, if everything's uncertain, shoot, let's, let's pick the, let's pick the highest road. And I have asked my guides and you ask your guys, show me what I need to do. Show me what I need to know. And I think that that's what, you know, brings up these, these, this information, this, that, you know, these feelings, these waves of feelings, these waves of, um, you know, here, here's the next thing to work on. Here's, feel this, know this, you know, process this, let it go and know how, you know, it's like, it's like knowing how important my tribe is to me. And so if you, if your tribe's important to you, reach out to them. Don't wait for people to reach out to you reach out to them, tell them how much you care about them and, and love them. And, um, and, and being loving is really important to me. So when I'm feeling these emotions running through my body or these different things that are coming up, you know, I check in to see, is this the collective? Is this ancestral? Um, is this what's going on with me now? And I just say, I choose love. So I'm choosing love to be with this, you know? I, so I don't push it away saying, I'm gonna feel love and I'm not gonna feel this. No, I'm like, I'm being with this feeling in holding love, not holding fear. And as I hold it with love, I'm holding me with love. And so hold yourself with love. Take really good care of yourselves. Create some really good rituals. You know, I mean, now's the time because I think there's still there's still going to be more waves of this, and I, I, uh, it feels like they're getting closer and closer together. <laughs> um, and if we can talk to each other, if we can share what's going on, then you won't feel so alone. So again, if you want to join my Patreon, and I'm I'm not doing this. I'm just sharing. I'm not doing this to get you to join my Patreon. I'm just sharing that there is a place that you can you can go, and I created it for that, so that so that you don't feel alone, um, so you're not feeling crazy because you're not crazy, and so you feel you can feel empowered um, and strong when you're going through this, and know that others are going through this. You're not you you are not alone, and know that intelligence, that quantum field, source energy, your higher self. Your, your I am presence, um, all your guides and angels, they're always with you. And you need to ask them to help you and support you because it's free will. But, um, but yeah, so they're always with you. You're not alone. And there's others of us who are connected to you too. Um, if you find this, then you know we're connected. And I'm here for you. And I can hold, help hold space for you. And we can hold space for each other. That's the important thing to know. It's like, you're not in this alone. You're not in this change, this uncertainty, this, um, you know, playground, this experiment alone. We're all, there's 7 billion people in this. And so um, it's basically though, it's choosing like, how do you want to show up in this? And where do you need support? What kind of support do you need? And, um, taking and supporting yourself and knowing you're worthy to support yourself.
in and in whatever way that is. So I hope this helped. And um, until we meet again, live, love, and matter. And hang in there. You got this. You got it. High five. And um, we'll talk soon. Take care.